And you yeah. too. Sorry we didn't come oh, yesterday. Like we were the videographer. Right. Good to be home. Good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh yeah. The place has changed. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Everything yeah, changes. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, it does. No <laughs> fucking way. My man is here. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! Larger than life. Oh, nice, right. Larger than life. Nice see you, it's great. Circles Good are closed. Nice. Full Good circle. Nice. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to be seen. <laughs> wow. Well, good to be home, Alan. The adventures continue, eh? Yes, they do. People call in what time do the doors open? Oh, yeah. That means there's going to be one person here tonight. Which is all we need, really. We're all here. Yeah, I saw that in one of the pictures. That's yeah, amazing. Was with, uh, Frederick on the phone. Oh, that was in the background. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> That's brilliant. I wrote Eddie an email and uh, said we wanted to come play, and it was like we kind of linked it up because my grandfather was turning 93, I think, or 92 at that time. And so we were on his way, on our way up to, to uh, his birthday, and we stopped here for a day. And then when we came in, we came in super early. We did radio. We played at the co-op. We played like at the Harvest Festival, and then we played the show t that night. And it went so well, and we loved each other so much that we decided to do even a second night, like a month later, in the same place. And it was like the last show that they had, just like this time. Um, yes. I think Eddie story. would definitely correct me if I'm wrong, but what I remember was that this was essentially a uh, tobacco fabric, uh, like a big, um, what's the word for it? Uh, factory? Factory, thank you, uh, where they did a lot of drying with tobacco, and, and, and Eddie, uh, for whatever reason, the, the person that owned this place uh, actually gave it to him because he was doing something so cool with, with it, which was uh, he felt that kind of books were, as we all know, uh, we cherish them and, and, and he, uh, he felt that, you know, with digitalization and everything like that, that a lot of the books were, a lot of bookstores were going out of business. And so he would go around the Midwest, but I think now even the country, and buy stocks from people that were foreclosing, that were losing their the bookstores and he would bring them here and so if you go through uh, this entire bookstore there's about a million books maybe more all over the place upstairs downstairs there's three floors they're just filled with books oh, they have so many books and and that's what they do basically they they sort through them and i think they have an online business that's you know keeping the place afloat and Book collectors from all over the world come here because it's one of the largest okay, bookstores, you, and, like patience. warehouses in the world. It's pretty incredible. They appear to be a verb. <laughs> 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 That's what uh, Bucky Fuller would say. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just a guy who takes care of this building uh, with up a lot of books and beer cans and now these uh, sculptures, these, these metaphysical talismans of, of the future uh, yeah and I've come to host all these musicians uh, this year I think we just did the numbers like a hundred shows at the bookstore and come to see like 200 bands and if you figure what like three people per band on average maybe yeah so you're getting there's a lot of people getting, through here getting up near that and each of them got th free books so I think we gave away like ten thousand dollars worth of books to bands Never would so even, the global would literacy even. or the, the literacy of musicians in America, I think, has gone up considerably <laughs> this year. Because of you. Because. It's been two years since we've seen you. And uh, the two years ago, you had this plan to create this kind of like um, 
uh, collective where you were trying to do a lot of support for different, not only local uh, Wisconsin bands, but also a lot of groups that were coming in. And obviously, you've done what you're saying now is about 600 shows. No, sorry, 200 shows. This 100 shows. 100 shows with uh, 200 bands. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 100 Six, shows this year. 600 musicians. 600 musicians is where my head was. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Literacy and of America. Yeah, so we created a cooperative. We actually did it last year, uh, or actually earlier this year, probably in March or something. And um, we called it the Wisconsin Roots Music Cooperative, this idea that we've been kicking around and doing the compilation CDs exactly. and stuff. And the idea was, hey, we, we have all these bands that want to play the bookstore. We, we're basically subsidizing, I'm basically subsidizing it like 15 grand a year just to kind of give people enough at the end of the night to, you know, make them feel good about the evening and not worry about, um, you know, money so much. Um, you know, from the beginning, this whole thing was like trying to not be about money. And by creating the co-op, we did it and we got about 350 members, including you guys who contributed. I think you were on the first contributors. We, we uh, were. I was proud to have Yeah, and maybe one of the only, or one of the, you know, only global ones. Um, but it was mainly people from around here. And they said, yes, we want you to continue doing bookstore shows. And yes, we want them to be free to the community and for those who can't afford it. Exactly. And you still can charge the Chicago people a whole bunch of money. And, um, and here's a mandate. And here's like 18 grand, I think, we raised from 350 people. So that allowed us to kind of do all these shows. At the end of the night, we write them a check depending on what people throw in the bowl. And at least cover them, you know, in a living wage as a musician, you know. Yeah. It might not be the the most money you'll make on the tour, but, you know, it's usually an off night and we put you up and give you some good food and a pound of coffee for the road and, you know, free books. So, you know, in general, we've been able to really up it and say yes to more people, but we're still saying no to, you know, two-thirds of the people only yeah. because of time constraints and right. there's only so many days in the year. Plus, um, you can't do a lot of stuff in the winter because of the situation with yeah how cold it is here. so this is like the last show of the year um, and then we're moving to other venues so because we had this little cooperative that could uh, help support things we did four shows at the at the park this year at the okay. night market so we'd have musicians come and play for this beautiful crafters market uh, in the big park downtown awesome is that the same one that we did something in two years ago yes cool. exactly uh, that was fun. And then we were able to do shows at some alternative venues like the Masonic Lodge. We're doing the last four shows of the year, um, which is a space that most people in town, no matter who you are, have never been in, um, just because Masonic Lodges are usually pretty secret. Yeah. But these cats here are all very progressive and, and, and want to bring people into the space. Want yeah. So they offered it to us, to the co-op, saying, you know, if you want to do some shows in the winter, we'll let you use the space. Boys came two years ago and blew us away. And the stories that have happened in between then and now are, are way too much to tell. But um, it's really amazing to kind of turn on the computer and seeing these guys somewhere in Europe playing live at eight in the morning and it's nine at night there. And there's hundreds of people around in some street and in Strasselburg or some European town. Um, Strudelberg, I guess. And so, she didn't say Strasburg. So it's been inspiring to know these gentlemen for the last two years and to have them come back and grace the bookstore is really superb. Thank you all for coming so far. I know there's people here from all over. So without further ado, please welcome the Trouble Notes.
you know, and 